In this video, we're going to go over the underlay text box and the object rotation features that are new in Toonly. So let's take a look. You can now add a colored box underneath your text to help it stand out against your background. In order to do it, it's quite simple. You'll just add in your text as you normally do by dragging it into your scene and typing your text. And then you'll notice down at the bottom, you have a new slider bar called the Underlays Opacity. And you just slide it. So if you want a really light underlay, you would have it down here. And then if you want it to be completely opaque, go all the way to the right. Then you can select a color. So you can make it bright pink if you'd like, or whatever color strikes your fancy. And then for padding, this just makes it larger, or just the default down here. You can even go a little bit smaller if you'd like. So just adjust it how you like, and that is it. You now have an underlay text box. The next feature is the object rotation feature. In this example, I do have some keyframes just to make it a little bit more interesting. But let's go over here to a different scene and we'll see what the possibilities are. You'll notice here I have all of the characters and they're tilting. We couldn't do that before, but now we can. And it's really quite easy. Here's how to do it. Click on characters. Find the character you'd like. Drag him onto the scene. And you'll notice he now has his original green resize tool in the upper right. And then down here at the bottom, there's a new red tool. And that's your rotate tool. So we're just going to rotate him. Let's bring him down in size and move him into position. Now we can fine tune that position just by dragging the red square. And that's it. That's all you have to do. You can do this to characters, objects, and text. So let's add an object. It's the same exact technique. Let's put a cat in here. Let it load. There he is. And we're going to resize the cat so he's in proportion to the humans. And rotate him. And there's our cat. It's the same concept for text. Let's drag our text onto the scene. We're going to go ahead and type in some text. And let's give it a text box while we're at it. Let's make this blue. And that should be fine. So same as, as before, resize with the green and rotate with the red. So let's do a little keyframing for fun as well. So if we go down here to our smooth text, click on the first keyframe. That's our starting position. Maybe we'll have it a little more that way. And then click on your ending keyframe. And we're going to rotate it this way. So now when we play the scene, that will rotate. And then finally, the earth was also an object that I rotated. I brought it in and I just tilted it over a little bit. Say we don't want it to be this particular angle. Maybe we want it to be this angle. All you do is rotate it as you like. There's one last trick I'd like to show you, and it has to do with the object rotation direction during a keyframe movement. So you can either make it go clockwise or counterclockwise. So let's take a look. Let's add a dolphin to our scene. Resize him a bit. Rotate him. Set our starting keyframe there and our ending keyframe will be over here 
and we're going to rotate him down. And he does a nice little flip in front of the cruise ship. If I wanted a different effect, I can right click on the timeline and get this new menu that says rotation clockwise, change it to counterclockwise. And now he will just rotate in the counterclockwise position. You can also access that menu by clicking on him and going to settings, and it's right there. Or you can right click the object and the menu appears. So there's three ways to get to it. And then you just choose the one you like and adjust accordingly. So that's it. Everything you need to know about text underlay boxes and object rotation. Thank you for watching.